Well, the seminar that we're looking at today has three different areas. First of all, we're going to take a look at the measurements that we make in the chromatogram. And then we'll see how we can take these measurements and convert them into some useful information. And then finally, we'll consider some of the factors that play a role in the reproducibility of your results. Here are four separations. If we look at the upper left one, we can look intuitively and see that they're very well separated. There's really no possibility that the first peak could be assigned for the second one or vice versa. And in many cases, this could be a case of, of overkill. Uh, the upper right separation is one that, that we're pretty happy with. In this case, uh, the peaks are, are distinguished from each other. Uh, there's some baseline between them, so there's no chance of getting things mixed up. A little safety margin, so there's some uh, chance if you have some changes in conditions that cause peaks to move around a little bit, uh, you're still safe. When we get to the, the case in the lower left corner, though, in terms of quantitation, uh, we're beginning to run into some problems. Um, we can see that there's overlap in uh, the, between the two peaks, and if you have peak tailing or something else, you can have a special problems. Uh, if the peaks are similar size, you may be able to drop a perpendicular between the peaks and allocate the area accurately there, or peak height can be used. In this case, the uh, center of the peak, where the peak height is measured, uh, doesn't overlap at all. But in general, this is a, a less, much less satisfactory uh, arrangement than the one in the upper right. And by the time we get to the example in the lower right corner here, we're not sure whether we have two separate peaks or whether uh, we have a problem with a the column. There's certainly going to be uh, impossible to get accurate determinations of how much of each peak is is there. So in order to get that uh, that separation we usually want to measure that and we've talked about that in an earlier session about how to measure uh, resolution. 